All right. So uh, first off, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, this presentation is going to be going over DHCP options with the Simple LAN and uh, specifically with Polycom uh, phones. So first off, what is DHCP? So um, our IP phones, they need a way to get their IP address. And DHCP is the protocol and how they do that. But more importantly, they just don't get their IP addresses. They can get other valuable information as well, such as the subnet mask of the network, the gateway, DNS, and um, some other configurable uh, settings as well. So um, all of the configurable settings are, are known as DHCP options. Uh, each option has uh, its own specific number and that number relates to a specific setting. So for instance, option one is the subnet mask, option three is the router, option six is the DNS server, and so forth. Uh, but there, there's a few that are commonly used all the time, but uh, this demonstration is going to be going over option 160, which is a custom option that Polycom uses. And this is how we're going to uh, simplify the provisioning process from the simple LAN router. So what are the benefits? Uh, some of the, or one of the benefits is that you don't have to touch each device to provision. Uh, a great one is that you can manage the provisioning server from one central location. You don't have to update a URL in each phone. Uh, say if SkySwitch changes their provisioning server for whatever reason uh, down the line, you can change it from one central point and not have to touch each phone. Uh, all right, so here uh, is a basic demonstration or a basic image of how, how it works. When the phone restarts, it requests its, or it does a broadcast and it finds the DHCP server. Uh, in this request, the simple land then, <clears throat> then um, the simple one will then respond with a DHCP offer. And in this offer, it's going to be including all of those options to configure the phone. So the IP address, the subnet mask, and everything like that. So I'm going to break away from this and kind of show you what that looks like in the PCAT, in a PCAT that I took off our simple LAN router here in, in our office. And all I did here is I went to uh, Diagnostics on the Simple LAN uh, dashboard and then Packet Capture, and then uh, I'm not logged in anymore, but I did a LAN capture. So you can, uh, the, the Simple LAN captures all the packets, but if you want to specifically look at the DHCP protocol, it's called Boot P, and then we can take a look. And so, Here's a DHCP offer from the router. So the gateway is 192.168.40.1, and it's replying back to 192.168.40.30. And you can see in this offer, it's giving my phone an IP address, and and it has all of these other DHCP options. So we can see the net mask um, to use for the network, the gateway that the phone should use and then uh, some other uh, settings as well, like the DNS servers. But at this moment, you can see that there's no uh, provisioning or option 160 in here. And But once we set that up in the simple land, we should also see that option as well. All right, so let me go back here. All right, so the great thing about Polycom is that they it defaults to using a custom option. You can either use option 66 um, or if you uh, or you can use option 160. Uh, so generally you don't have to do anything. It should default that when it um, if you factory default the phone, it should come in the settings. I've included the the set how to navigate through the phone to verify 
but if you get a brand new phone or factory default it, it should already uh, be set to use this. All right, so now we're gonna go through um, how to set this up in the Simple Land device. Find my site, so you just go to your site and then you'll click DHCP server. And then you'll wanna add, there's a section here for DHCP options, and this is where you're gonna to wanna to add it. So we wanna include it on the LAN interface. We're gonna use custom. The option number that we wanna use is 160. And uh, the custom option name has to be um, a string with no special characters in it. So I'll just say polycom provisioning and then type string. And then here is where we want to put in the provisioning URL. Now, um, the only thing to watch out here is you have to make sure that this is um, in between quotes. And that's just something specific to too simple in, but you'll want to, it won't let you add it in unless you put it in between quotation marks. So HTTP forward slash forward slash ndp.skyswitch.com. All right, so that should look good. And then just make sure it syncs. And then, uh, so how I took that capture before, I already have it pre-captured, but you can just go to Diagnostics, Packet Capture, and then LAN. And then now, when we do a packet capture, we should see the option 160 in there. THCP offer. We'll see all of the same information, 192.168.40.30. But now we, we see this 160. And this is what the uh, phone is gonna be using for the provisioning server. So uh, if you look at it, the value is this long string, but not to worry, that's just the hexadecimal code or hexadecimal value of uh, the provisioning server. So if we copy this as a value, and then we can go to a site just to confirm, convert hexadecimal, to ASCII, this should hopefully convert to, and there it is. So we've got HTTP colon slash slash ndp.skyswitch.com. All right, and then we'll go back here. And then this is just explaining what the values and what to put in there. And then this is just going over the PCAP values and the hexadecimal to ASCII. All right, um, that is basically it. Did anyone have any questions? All right, so just to recap real fast, the phone uh, pulls its IP address and its network settings. It also pulls the um, the provisioning server as well on the boot process, and then now it'll have its uh, provisioning server, and it can pull its config. Well, there are no questions, so thank you very much for attending today's SkySwitch webinar, and uh, we appreciate your business. Thank you, and have a great day. Thank you, Cameron.